Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you. I've seen this product on Facebook and I thought, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's try it out and see if it works. And basically what this is, is a uh, collision alert system. It's basically like a stick on brake light that uh, happens to kick on whenever you, you know, do a hard brake and uh, it kicks on. Now it doesn't always turn on whenever you apply the brakes, just when you only do like a hard brake. And you can see the the Gladiator's got a third brake light here in the tailgate, but it doesn't have one up top. I think most people kind of look for that being up top, and I know I do, and so it's kind of weird having one down here, so we wanted to stick one on the Gladiator, and we just want to see if it works. And uh, so I'm gonna do a quick little review and install, and it's very simple, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so whenever you get the impulse, uh, it comes in this nice box. It's got like a little lift thing on the front of it. I know you guys don't want to see the box, but figured I'd show you anyways. And then, you know, it comes with the actual light and you can see it's got some 3M adhesive here on the front. You peel that off, clean the surface with alcohol, and then you stick it on there. Pull the back off of it. It just slides off to the side like this. And you can see that it's got an on and off switch right in here. And it has a high and low switch. And then it has a pulse and a steady. So if you want the light to, to pulse, uh, or remain on steady uh, then you can do either one and then it has a calibrate button and you know you don't have to do any kind of wiring with this thing so that's why I liked it I didn't want to have to do any kind of fancy wiring and and mess with any of that it's just pretty much a pill and stick now the the battery is not replaceable so I just wanted to put that out there but it does have a long battery life and you know the average life on it's like four years so and that just really depends on you know how much hard braking that you do now I will say that this uh, device has to be above 30 miles an hour for it to work so you know if you're you know just doing little in like stop and go traffic it's not going to wear your your battery down unless you're going above that 30 miles an hour and you brake hard so don't don't take it the wrong way every time you hit your brakes it's not going to light up just when you brake you know hard enough for the sensors to pick it up and uh it's basically just to keep you from getting rear-ended and so i thought it was a pretty neat device just to have you know if, i know for the jeep gladiator here we get tailgated a lot because you know it's kind of slow it's a slow vehicle and uh i figured you know if we had to brake and somebody hit us you know might prevent an accident but i turned it on just so you could see how bright it bright it is and they claim that it's uh, three times brighter than your tail lights, and that was on high. I might have to, yeah. There we go. I just hit the button, but it's bright on on low, but it is super freaking bright on high. That ain't no joke. And also, you see here on the back window, you've got the defroster uh, going across the back, the little lines in the glass. That's for your rear window defroster. Uh, I didn't see anything. Uh, in the directions about it messing with it or any of that um, I could have overlooked it but uh, I seen that on, on a video that they had online it was installed and the, uh, the tape was over the uh, defrosters there so I don't think it's going to be any issues all right so in the gladiator we had this little headrest uh, sticking down real low and it was come up to about right here on the uh, the back glass and at first we were going to put it up high but then we got to thinking well if we looked in our rear view mirror it might hinder us but if we put it down low it's going to be behind this and you won't even see it so we thought it would look better so you're not looking at the back side of this it would still be able to be visible from outside and so uh, we're just going to stick it right there so I just pulled this headrest out and anyways I've, uh, I'm just going to eyeball it it ain't going to be perfect uh, just simply because you know I have these lines right there for that rear window defroster and so I'm just gonna line it up with that and try to get it as centered in the window as I can then we'll we'll come back and show you how to uh, calibrate it all right so you can see that I got it stuck on there got it level with that uh, rear window defroster and centered up in the windshield make sure that everything is set to the way that I like it I've got it to the on position I've got it set on high because the back wind is a little bit tinted so we put it on high so it would be able to shine through a little bit brighter and uh, then we've got it set on pulse instead of steady 
we figured it would look better and plus uh you know it'd probably make the uh battery life last a little bit longer on pulse so anyways uh, we didn't end up using this little uh leveling tool you know because like i said we're sitting up on a hill but you can see that that's the way that it sticks in there and that's how you would level it if you wanted to to use that all right so it says in the directions the way that you calibrate it is that you hold the calibrate button in for five seconds so there's one two three four five and it should be calibrated so it says to replace the the back cover I'm just gonna slide that back in there just like that and you can see what I was talking about it's kind of out of your way you don't even know it's there and it's hidden behind that headrest so so also you can still slide the window to the side it doesn't hinder any of that at all oh yeah you can definitely see things freaking bright I, I gotta give it that hit it again man that thing's bright now that's on high uh, you don't have to have it on high and like I said it'll make your battery last longer you know if you put it on low but we figured with the tinted glass that it would uh that it would uh need the high put it on low and let's see what it looks like that's still pretty freaking bright i really don't think that it needs to be on high myself so what is that there steady low. that's low so that's steady low huh yeah i, I think uh I think we should keep it on low actually and put it on pulse there you go yeah I, I like the pulse i think that makes the most sense and i'm sorry the jeep window is dirty it's been rainy and nasty here so we hadn't washed it like i said if you really zoom in on it and focus in on it you can you can see the light through the tent but you know i'm just standing here at the back of the tailgate it's really not noticeable you know when you're a, a few feet away it's not something that I'd look and say, uh, that looks weird in the back window. So I just wanted to make mention, you know, if, you know, check your local laws. You know, I know some states, they don't allow the pulsing brake light and all that. And, you know, they, they do have you covered, you know, if, if you don't have that, if, you know, if it's not legal to have that uh, pulsing brake light, you can always switch it over to steady. So just check your local laws. Don't want nobody getting a ticket. And we're just sitting here. Uh, fixing to go do the testing on this uh, impulse brake light thing and there were some deer just right here beside the road just sitting here looking at us there they go so um, I told you that it had come with this little leveling device and everything and I didn't really catch the instructions at first so we played around with it a minute but what this does is you know it, it adjusts the angle of those lights so you know on the Jeep Gladiator you know it, it's going to point straight out with the light bulbs but let's say you have a, a vehicle that's got like a curved or slanted uh, back windshield um, you can take this little leveling tool and stick it in here and you can adjust which way the lights go in and out and I don't know if you guys could see that with my hand in the way but you can swivel it up and down and it adjusts which way the lights point and so you want it you know with the flat windshield you want it kind of level so that's why it gives you this little tool right here to kind of to level it up yeah there we go perfect I got it completely leveled so that when the when the light goes off it shines directly behind and again you know if you had a, a curved windshield or a slanted windshield uh, you can adjust it up or adjust it down. thought that was pretty neat. I, you know, when I looked at it the first time, I was like, I don't know really what that does. But uh, it really does serve a purpose. And uh, So anyways, we're going to try to do a little testing on it. I'm here on a little quiet area over here near the Jeep dealership. And, and uh, we're going to see if I can get this thing going on to work and uh, go off from doing a little hard braking but just remember you're going to have to be going over 30 miles an hour alright guys so as you're saying it works and it works really good now 
they said in the instructions that it had to be going 30 i looked down and i was doing about 25 and i slammed on it really hard and it still come on uh, so you know it does work good now you really have to put to apply the brakes really hard for it to to come on but you know it, it could definitely prevent an accident i wasn't really sold on it at first you know i really just thought well maybe it's a gimmick type of thing but it really does work and uh it works good and it's bright as you guys seen you know we did two different tests and it worked both times so if you're interested in the product they're like 50 dollars on amazon appreciate you guys watching please like and subscribe to my channel until next time have a good one